All right now, in our series on logical functions, there is another important function we should cover, and that's the function called AND. Basically, for AND, this function will re return the value true. It will be true if all of the arguments are true. So we're going to go into an example to understand this. Often, AND is used in conjunction with the function if. So I would encourage you, if you haven't taken a look at the video and tutorial on if, please do that first before going into the AND function here. So we're going to take a look at an example. Assuming you're a class parent or a club officer, and you have all the names of the students plus their gender and the shirt size they need to order, we're going to now incorporate the AND and the IF functions. So let's assume, let's say in this case, there was a production error and the shirt manufacturing company comes back to you and says, unfortunately, given how popular female median medium shirts are, we no longer are able to produce them. And so as a result, anyone who is a girl and ordered the medium sized shirt will instead have to order the men's small. Oh, so what if we have so many students and so many different types of information, rather than go one by one and making sure that every girl who ordered the size medium has to change to a men's small, we can introduce these two functions to flag all those who are women who ordered the medium sized shirt. So how do we do that? So let's start with the function if and the gender is equal to F for female and the shirt size is equal to medium. If both these conditions are true, rather if all these conditions are true, then your modified shirt size has to be a men's small. Otherwise, if that's not the case, then your shirt's modified shirt size is simply going to be your original shirt size. So just reference the cell C2. Okay, so what this tells us now, let's take a look at this one more time. The test says if both, because you're looking at the and, if both the cells B2 is F, meaning if the student is female and if her shirt size is medium, then she will need to order a men's small. Otherwise, simply keep the shirt size as is. Okay, so the and function states that all the argu arguments must be true in order for the test to be true. So given in this particular example, we notice that yes, the gender is female, but the shirt size is small. We should expect the modified shirt size to simply be the original S. But now let's copy this formula and paste it down. And what you will discover is that for those, again, with a female specified in this category and shirt size M, you will have a modified shirt size that says men's small. So again, and function will return true, it will be true if all its arguments are true. And most often, you will find that the AND function is used in conjunction with the IF function. Great. So another related function to AND is the OR function, which we'll cover in our next video. We'll see you there.